I'm not comfortable because you're young. You haven't watched my show. You're clearly not a fan. But uh, you know what? Good luck to you, buddy. I hope it does well. Dean King called you. You pissed him off. Ergo, you have no guests for Monday. And now I've got to go put out fires with the greatest Superman our generation has seen. I've got faith in you doing the show. I know you'll do a good job, but let's just not let any more of these slip through the, through the cracks, okay? Let's learn, obviously. Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah, Owen, Owen Benjamin hat. Um, on Fridays when we don't do the show, that's because we often go on location to either shoot super videos or sketches. And I was in the car with Sven Computer, and I, I said as a joke that he would be hosting the show on Monday. I, I find out he's been texting not gay Jared and Johnny Boy, our producer, he's living in his own personal hell. He, th he thinks he's hosting the show. I forgot to tell him it was a joke, so now we're just going to go with it and see how he deals with the pressure of, I guess, my job. Enter one Dean Kane. We just informed Sven that he will be his guest on Monday, but Dean wants to touch base for the big event. Hilarity ensues. Actually, Sven, it's not John, it's Dean Kane. How are you, buddy? Oh, hello, Mr. Kane. Can I run down some ground rules then for how I go on the show? Yeah, sure. Okay. Steven likes to do a lot of Superman jokes and stuff, and I honestly, I, I played him, but I don't like that he does that, and that actually kind of pisses me off. So if we could stay away from the Superman stuff, that would be cool. Okay, uh, that's, that's not going to be a problem at all. A lot of the younger kids grew up watching yeah. the show. Did you ever watch it in Germany? Did you ever see it? Yeah, I, I watched it, and that's kind of how I, I got on the show in the first place. You know a little bit about the show, then about uh, Superman, yeah. Rose Clark. Okay. Yeah, wait, you, wait, you watched. Wait, I just want to clarify real quick. You you watched not not Stevens' show, my show, Lois, like Superman. Oh, okay. No, I, I, I didn't watch that. I didn't watch that. You did not watch that. No. Uh, All right. That's. Well, I'm not gonna. That's, I'm, I'm not, that's I'm just not a. Big Guys. That's for, it's actually a television show. It's a television show. Whatever. That's cool. That's kind of jacked up though, because okay. I like. I, I prefer. Will you be able to watch some of the show then before I come on? I will. Okay. Thank you. But then, but don't, but don't ask me about it. No, seriously, like, I don't want to talk about it because there's just, a, and I get it all the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, got it. No, I'm sick of it. Is what happened. Well. And then Steven does it, and he thinks it's funny, and it just pisses me off. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Anyway. And also, can I, can I throw out one other thing? Uh, like Hallmark movies and stuff? I don't want to talk about those either, so no Hallmark. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. I wasn't, I wasn't going to talk about any of that anyway. All right, all right, good. Perfect. Basically, but I just want to make sure it's clear. I'm from Germany, and I never saw any of those movies. Or, like, all entertainment in Germany is uh, a little bit... Oh, I know. I know some German people, and they're not funny. <laughs> what are you going to ask me about then? I wonder if you, if you want to touch on that about your experience in Israel. Obviously, Ooh. Um, yeah, I, I think it'd be awfully uncomfortable. Don't you think it'd be uncomfortable talking about Israel with a German guy? Oh, no. Not at all. I mean, you know what happened with Germany and, and the Jews, right? I didn't know all this about you. I'm not sure I can do the show on Monday. I'm gonna call Steven and I'm gonna probably just kill it just because I'm not comfortable because you're young, you haven't watched my show, you're clearly not a fan. But uh, you know what? Good luck to you, buddy. I hope it does well. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> Sven, I feel bad. I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, Sven. I just got a call from Dean Kane. What, ha what happened? I was trying to... I, I just, he was like, hey, I'm Superman movies. I was like, I, I'm, I said, I'm sorry, I didn't did you, you, any of your movies. I'm from Germany, you know? It's, you told him so, you didn't know who he was? Obviously know who he is. I just said I didn't watch any of his movies. Well, Sven, him. that's the same thing. What am I supposed to do? Did I tell him about all the movies I saw? Him yes! Movie? That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you do with the host. You tell him you've loved his stuff. I've never read Thomas Sowell's books. Well, ex excuse me, Stephen, I didn't, uh, didn't know that. He's usually such a nice guy. I've never heard him that mad. Well, and then I said, well, hey, you were in Israel lately. I would love to talk about oh, this in German. Oh, And then Sven. he went, well, I can't talk about Israel with a, with a German. With a German, yes, of course. I apologize. I mean, I, 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 I tried to be super civil. I mean, maybe he was drinking. He gets that way sometimes. I don't know. 
Uh, I, I apologize a million times. But John texted me earlier. I looked and said you up on a phone call with Dean Kane. The, the messenger was quite clear what he meant by that. I was like, he told you Dean Kane was going to call you. Dean Kane called you. You pissed him off. Ergo, you have no guests for Monday. And now I've got to go put out fires with the greatest oh, Superman yeah. our generation has seen. I've got faith in you doing the show. I know you'll do a good job, but let's just not let any more of these slip through the through the cracks, okay? Let's learn, obviously, but yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, listen, what do you do if they say, have you seen this or have you read my book? Oh, sure, I have. Yeah, I grew up on it. Perfect. Okay, thanks, Ben. See you later. All right, bye. Oh, <laughs> such a nice guy. Hello, Jared. Hey, sir. What's up? Uh, that that was pretty much what I was going to ask you. But is everything okay? Well, I mean, the Dean Hall, Dean Kane situation, then I can reach no one and I don't know what the hell is going on. Here's the thing, I, di I, didn't, I didn't get a briefing on it, so I didn't know that I was supposed to kiss his ass. It is Dean and Kane, then, that should be the default, I mean. Well, what should be the default? The kissing ass, I mean, it's... it's it's helpful just to, to assume that going in with guests, obviously. I'm German, so apparently in Dean, Kane, in Dean Kane's world, I can't talk about Israel. Ten minutes later, I get an angry phone call from Stephen. What the f I have done? So that happened, right? And then I'm like, okay, f me. It's just, it's just, it's just a cluster. F I think you're gonna pull us together. I've just really, I would focus as much as you can on the the character. Even throughout the day, I just, just recite the beep beeps and bops because that's not going to come naturally when you're under pressure even right now even right now let's hear the let's hear the beep beeps uh, that's, that's not that's not going to be a big deal I, look I'm, I'm usually pretty good under pressure well, the only thing that, that i'm not hearing now, the beep I'm, beeps <laughs> beep beep there only person i had to talk to today about this was aaron and obviously he didn't know anything what was going on so that's yeah. that's good beep, beep. sleep well yeah you too thank you very much see you tomorrow bye all right, bye. <laughs> he did the beep beeps. Pitch meeting time. As you can see, the room is just beaming with energy and good vibes as Sven Computer pitches his idea for a show open. Did you have any sketch ideas in there, Sven, for any of these? Uh, well, that's going to be a sketch of the top of the show. That's going to be me during the intro trying to take off my helmet and like, taking it off and then like... I don't, I don't get it. I don't know if it works. It works. We're going to do a sketch. Get over it. It's showtime. After a weekend of sleepless nights and strenuous prep, it's time for Sven to rehearse the opening monologue. Many of you are still blissfully unaware of their are inducing PPQ with this world-class trigger mechanism. Um, Steven told me about this before. It, it just it just smooth and it, it just feels amazing. Wait, what's the smirk for? It, it just smirk. Get rid of the open grave punchline. Just because I, I can do it, I don't know that you can do it. All right. I know why you're smirking, because you've been reading my text. You know you're not doing the show today, right? No, and this was obvious since yesterday. Oh, God. Well, you were, well, you were panicking. <laughs> you were panicking sending everyone. You thought Bill well, was going to fire you. Well, he's, he's on the telephone, almost laughing his ass off. You know, this was, this was just very, very, very bad timing for the office, so... Um... Is this a double prank? Is this what's going on? Is this what's happening? Is this him writing his letter of resina resignation? He quit. I have this letter of Sven quitting because he, he caught on that it was a, a prank and he thought it was mean. And he sent me his, his ticket back to Germany. But then I looked, I realized this is a Photoshop because it says Monday, April 10th. <laughs> so he was trying to double prank here, but this is a Photoshop. <laughs> so when he comes back in to tell me he's a prank, we're gonna tell him he's fired anyway. <laughs> and that's how you flip the script. Was this, this was a prank? Of course, it was a prank on a prank. I think you should, uh, I think you should take the flight. I'm just going to assume that this is a prank on a prank. Nope. Prank on a prank on a prank? You have a ticket here. So I would just, I would take the ticket. Seriously, I would take the ticket and go. Okay. You crowd son of a bitch! You missed the Photoshop on the picture! This would have worked if you didn't write a date that doesn't exist! <laughs> Man, it worked all the earlier tomorrow morning! <laughs> So what did we learn? Well, when pranking a German, be prepared for a curveball. He might pull a fast one and turn in his fake resignation, or he might start a fourth right. No one knows. It's never worth the risk. That's the point. It's not worth the risk. Don't do it.
Usually this is the point where I would tell you to subscribe or hit the notification bell up there because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot on YouTube. But if you haven't signed up now at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club for all the daily content to support us, there's probably, there's not a pitch I can make here that'll work. So let me just tell you this. I have a cat in my basement right now. If you don't subscribe at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club to support this content, I am going to kill him. If you don't subscribe, this cat in my basement will die.